Hi, this is Maggie from Crafts the Charm. Welcome to a two minute technique. Today's technique is painting a brass effect with a verdigris or patina finish. To do this, you're going to need the surface that you want to paint. I'm painting this LED candle in the shape of a skull. You're also going to want three different metallic paints. You're going to want a medium paint, then you're going to want something for low lights, and then you're going to want a highlight paint. You're going to want some black acrylic paint, and then for the verdigris effect, you're going to want a dark greenish sort of teal and a light bluish sort of teal. You're also going to want something to seal the paint with. I'm going to use Mod Podge. You could also use a spray seal. So to start, you're going to paint your surface with the base color paint. Once that dries, you're going to paint the low lights. You're going to paint that in the crevices, around the bottom of the surface, anywhere that it seems like it would not get touched a lot and it might pick up some grime. Then you're going to paint the highlights. This you're going to paint where you think the surface would pick up the light a lot, so any high areas, large smooth areas, or places that you think would get touched a lot. Now you're going to take some black paint and mix it in with your low light paint and then add a little bit of water. Dab this over your low light areas and also dab it a little bit over the surface in random areas, so even over the highlight areas. Now we're going to add the verdigris. Begin with your dark greenish teal color and dab that in to those low light areas. You can also put it in a few random spots in the highlight areas. Then mix a little bit of black in and dab that into the same areas. Once that's dry, take your bluish teal color and dab that over your greenish teal areas. Once you've finished with the paint, seal it with Mod Podge or a spray sealer. I find that this is a very convincing brass with verdigris finish. If you don't want the verdigris effect, you could do just the brass. If you use the highlights and the lowlights, you will get a very convincing looking brass. And if you want, you could do the entire piece with the verdigris finish if you wanted something more like the Statue of Liberty. Happy crafting.